Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, we're gonna make a new video today. And in this video guys, we're gonna make a DIY pedal board. If you don't know about pedal board guys, I'm gonna make a picture somewhere here. So that is how it looks like the pedal board. You're gonna make a board and then put all your pedals organized. So your pedal is not be like anywhere on the floor. So it's gonna be like one board and then put your pedal in it so today guys i pick up like a computer high rise like this so this one guys this is uh from um, this is from ikea if you can see the logo in there so this is from ikea it's called um so this one guys is a computer stand if you want to put your computer rise up like that on the table uh, i'll show you like this one guys put your um, laptop in there or a computer on the table and then your computer is going to be like rise up like that level up and it's easy to um, put your armrest in there so um take this off so yeah guys this is a computer stand if you want to make your uh, keyboard a bit level up and then your screen is gonna be in here like I show you earlier and um, I said I'm not using this anyway so why I can't make this a pedal board <laughs> so I'm gonna make this one guys a pedal board like the picture that I show you here uh, loads loads type of pedal board you can make uh, aluminum um, square bars or you can make a, a piece of wood from the pallet pallet wood something like that but this one is made in plastic so it's easy to make this a pedal board and a DIY pedal board what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna make a hole in here and another hole in here and hole in here and hole in here and then I'm gonna put my pedal in there and then I'm gonna um, use this cable tie to make the uh, pedal um, hold in the in the board uh, like this one like this uh, my Boss BE2 harmonizer I can put that in here guys and then I'm gonna make a hole a hole in here and hole in here and then make it a cable tie underneath so that's gonna be like your pedal is gonna hold on the board some people they use a velcro uh, they put a velcro in here and then put a velcro underneath your uh, pedal as well and then when they are ready just stick your pedal to the board stick like that with the velcro so that's gonna be um, handy as well but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a hole, like I'm gonna make a hole in here, and a hole in here, and then put the cable tie on the hole, going underneath the board to hold the pedal on the board. And if I don't like the design, I can take the cable, cable tie up, cut it, and then put this in here, or put this in here, or put in here, so you can make organize your pedal i've got loads of pedal on the floor i've got my uh, boss rc30 and i've got a put switch and i've got my beat body so all the pedal on the floor it's going to be organized when i uh, make a hole in here and um to make sure that i won't get mess i'll make um, um a draw or a small sketch like that so my boss be2 it's gonna be here my RC 30 is there my uh, my put switch FS 5 u is here my pit body here is in the middle and the dual put switch is in here so this is my um, special diagram <laughs> that I made and yeah so let's go and um, make a hole in this board and then put all the pedal on the board with a cable tie so uh, before we uh, make a hole in here, I'm going to show you how it looks like when the pedal is on the board. So that is going to be how it looks like guys. This is my um, 
spatial diagram so I put the pedal on the board but there's no hole yet I'm gonna make a hole on the board so if you imagine this is my diagram and then when you see the actual um, things it's gonna be look like that so they are all in the board and they are all organized I'm just gonna make a hole on the board and then make a cable tie and um, so that the board is not gonna move when you press the pedal all the time when you're using all the pedal so my Boss BE2 is there my RC30 is there and my FS5U is here my bit body here and the dual switch for this bit body so that's gonna be like that so let's um do the board make a hole so that is the board on the floor guys and um, I've got my um, my wireless um, black and decker um, drill and I'm gonna pick um, a drill bit which is um, the same size with this um, cable tie not really um, specific um, size of uh, drill bit what you want but you can make a hole like a big hole for the pedal for, for the board and then so I think this one is um uh, much enough so I'm gonna make a hole now in my um, this is my diagram so the BE2 is there so I'm gonna make a hole in there I've got my mark pen here so I can mark So I can put a mark in here so I know where is the hole gonna go and then I'm gonna make a hole in here so one down hole and another hole in here So I've got a two hole for my Boss BE2 purse there and then put the cable tie in here because my cable tie is a bit short so I'm gonna make it this joint I'm gonna make join this uh, cable tie to make it long there and then I can put that in there and then put the things in there It's gonna be look like this guys when everything's done it's gonna be it's gonna be look like this guys when it's done so one down I'm gonna make more hole in here for my RC30 and the switch and the put switch and the bit body but I'll just show you when you done the purse hole for my BE2 and it's really steady they won't come up and it's not really tight yet because the the pedal there is a rubber underneath so it will hold as well anti-slip so it's not gonna move so let's do some more hole so the next is the RC30 it's gonna be go in here and the cable tie is gonna go in here on the side so I'm gonna make um, a pen mark again just right here and just right here And now we're gonna make a hole for my Boss RC30 so I'm gonna do all of them guys and then I'm gonna make it a pass forward okay so
There you go guys, all the hole is done. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna attach all the pedal on the board. So um, that's gonna be look like that when everything attached with the um, cable tie. So I hope you like that pedal guys. So I hope you like the design of the pedal board. If you have any uh, suggestion guys, uh, you can leave your suggestion on the comment box so I can rearrange again that's why I make a hole on the board and then if you get bored on your design you can rearrange again so I'm um, I'm asking you guys if you have any suggestion to make um, rearrange or another setup or another um, design you can leave your um, design or comment on the box it's really nice if you um, Make a comment guys if you have any suggestion any design or any uh, arrangement but at the moment this is my first um, design at the moment and then like I said if I get bored on that kind of design so I can make another more hole doesn't matter how many hole you got at least you can rearrange your um, pedal it depends where is you comfortable to play your um, your um, pedal because this one is a vocal harmonizer, my B, B, BE2. That's a vocal harmonizer. And this R330 is a, a loop pedal. And the switch work with this RC30 just to change the track and change the memory bank. And my beat body is my drum beat. And this switch is work with the beat body to change the, the tempo, the, the genre and the uh, song and you can stop and go on this switch pedal and this red pedal here with the uh, accent like a cymbal sound so that is the first design of my pedal board guys so i'm gonna attach all the pedal and i'm gonna put a, a cable tie so let's pass forward again with this So that is how it looks like guy. So all the cable tie is been attached and they all um, really steady. Look, they won't come up. And now I'm gonna cut all the extra cable tie. There you go guys, that is how it looks like my pedal board. Even if you carry it like that, they won't come up because it's um hold with a cable tie so let's go back to my room there we go guys my finished product of my pedal board diy pedal board i hope you like this uh, design what i've got today guys and i still got loads of access you know to put the cable in yeah like this put switch guy i still got loads of rooms to put my um, cable in there like that I still got loads of um, room access to put the cable each and everything so you when you want to connect all the pedal uh, wire or cable patch so there you go guys I've done my DIY pedal board hope you like my design guys like I said when the when I'm drilling and making a hole on the board if you have any suggestion any design or any uh, rearrange you can leave your comment on the comment box guys and then so i can rearrange this or add more pedals if i got some more at the moment this is all my pedal i've got a big pedal down there which is the big one it won't gonna fit on my board so this is my diy pedal board i spent almost five pounds just the board just the pedal just the board this is the laptop um, stand. So I spent five pounds for that. And the cable tie, I've got loads of cable tie. So this is the cheapest uh, pedal board in the whole world compared to other pedal board DIY. This is the cheapest. So there you go guys. I hope you like my design on my pedal board. If you have any uh, question guys, just drop your question on the comment box. 
And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, guys, please do subscribe, guys. Really, really do appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And next to the subscribe button, there is a bell button in there. You can smash the bell button, guys. So at least you will get notified every time I'll make a video every other day, guys. So hope you like this video, guys. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this video to your friends, to your family, and to your co blogger And... Uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> My DIY pedal board. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Kahimo saying, keep your face mask on, wash your hands properly, and make a space to protect yourself and protect your loved one because we are all still in pandemic, guys. So this is Kahimo, guys, saying thank you for watching, and I hope I see you in my next video. Thank you, guys, and God bless you all.